In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to find profitable winning products to resell on Amazon FBA in 2023. It's currently prime day the next couple days, so there's a ton of sales going on, so I want to make sure you guys are fully prepared to find as many winning products as possible. And this Wednesday night, I'm going to be hosting a completely free live class breaking down step by step by step how to get started with Amazon Online Arbitrage. So register for that, the link in the description, and let's get right into it. We can see here on my screen, Nike.com is a big sale going on. They also have 10% on Rakuten. And just the next couple of days with Prime Day, like basically every website has a big sale. So it's gonna be a lot of opportunity to find profit and I wanna show you guys how we can do some of that, right? So all we do is typically on the homepage on a website, you'll be able to see what sales they have going on and being able to be able to shop all the items that are covered by that. Right, so for example, we can see there's about 3,000 products that are on sale um, with this code ultimate, save an additional 20% right here. Um, so what I like to do in this case, so I just filter in men's right here. And so now we can see all the stuff that the sale actually works on right here. So for example, we can see some of these different items. And then basically all we want to do is scroll through. This is called manual sourcing if you're a beginner. Scroll through and reference over to Amazon and see if we could sell any of these products for double or more of what we buy them for, right? The way shipping costs, fees, etc., break down with Amazon is that for something to be profitable, say you can buy it for 40, it needs to sell for like $80 or more sales tax, everything for it to be profitable, right? So for example, as we scroll through here, we're getting an additional 20% off, right? So I'm thinking to myself, it's like, okay, could I see these selling for like $300 or more, $280 or more? Probably not. Probably not here. I don't think so, right? We want to be looking for basic card stuff, right? You know, stuff people buy on Amazon, right? Um, for example, these Air Force, I don't really see those being like, you know, 160 plus. Um, these shorts, I could totally see being like, you know, 45, 50 plus, um, especially in this color. We're here, so we'll open up those. So what I like to do is just scroll through here, open up a bunch of listings, and then we'll reference over to Amazon as well. What you also could do is like filter by cheapest price or by like best sellers, you know, low to high, stuff like that um, as well. Though typically I'll kind of just do like what it comes up as like, yeah, featured. Right here, you could also do by basic color as well, which is a decent idea because a lot of like the best items would be like basic, black, white, etc. Basically, but let's see what we can do. Right here, wind flows, let's see, free runs, 64 for those looks decent. Um, let's see, swoosh tees, See, some of these are a little more on the expensive side right here. And obviously I have a good feel for stuff like these. I could potentially see these being like 140 plus right there. Let's see, Air Jordan 1 lows possibly right here. Let's see, slides, mids. So yeah, so it's interesting. Some of the stuff's just at full retail. And obviously we do have 20% off, but typically most of the stuff that's on sale on Nike.com will be like already discounted basically. So let's see these hoodies right here. Any of these guys on sale? No. Let's see, 20% sustainable materials. Ooh, this looks great right here. Might already be sold out. A lot of like this uh, this pro dry fit stuff will tend to be pretty good um, right here. So obviously I have a pretty good hit rate in terms of kind of knowing what's gonna do well, but in general it's like basic colored stuff. After you've been sourcing for a while, you'll have seen a lot of this stuff too, so you have a pretty good gauge of it um, as well. Let's see, so these are all just like too expensive right here for what I'm thinking will need to be good. Let's see. Revolutions, ooh, those look cheap too. Okay, let's see, Flex Controls, let's take a look at those too. Right, so we got a bunch of listings, now we're just gonna reference over to Amazon right here. Let's see, so we're paying about 55, or 50 bucks for these. Let's see, okay, so, right, we're paying around 50, so we need this to be 100 plus for these to be profitable. Right here, so, what we do in this case is, all you need to do this is Keepa, which is the chart right here, or I guess right here, and then Seller App, so each of these are 20 bucks a month, I have full tutorials on both of these on my YouTube, so make sure you check out those if you're interested in seeing like step by step by step how to do this stuff. Right before I was filming this video, I bought like a hundred of one a or four hundred of one ASIN, which was pretty cool. So it's like so easy to store stuff with Prime. Day. I want to make sure everyone's prepared. Right here, let's see. Okay, is this navy size six right here? Wow, so this is actually in stock. Okay, so let's see. So the lowest price here, this is the variations tab on Keepa. Lowest price on this is 175. So obviously 175 I don't think is realistic. But we're gonna be able to look on the Kiba chart and see if this has sold there. So it's interesting, right? So this has sold up at 90 bucks, 95 bucks a lot right here. And then we can also see on the Kiba that this hasn't really had any sellers since like May. And that one guy's on it at 175, but legitimately the past three months there's been no sellers, which is a very good sign. So here at 65, 65, then we multiply that by 0 0.8 to take off that 20%. Right here, we can see if you realistically list these around like 105 right here, you can make like 26 bucks profit, and that's with sales tax factored in. 
um, right there as well. So this isn't like a super proven item, but it's the kind of thing that clearly other people haven't found that there might be some profit in. Right there, and something like this where it's a little competition, you could just buy like one or two of them and FBM them. Obviously, I don't think it makes sense to buy anything that's shown in a YouTube video. I just want to show you guys what is possible with this stuff. Let's see, double X right here. Let's see what we got. Okay, so this is uh, running shorts. Here we go. Okay. Let's see. Do you have this uh, blue color? Uh, obsidian. It's different. Men's line brief, briefs. Okay, so this is too high of a sales rank as well. Sales rank is how you gauge demand. You want it to be below 100,000 or more, uh, for the most part, for the stuff you're buying. Right there. So stay under 100,000 sales ranks. So those are not good. Let's see. Nike Dry Fit training t shirt right here. Let's see. Ooh, here we go. Okay. So what are we paying on this? So we're paying. Uh, looks like so some of these are out of stocks. So this is a pretty good sign that this probably is good We might be a little late on something like this though, uh, but 19 take off 20% are so paying like 15 bucks um, So let's see Okay, they have a small right here Boom, okay, is that the right thing? Let's see. So this is white AR right here let's See so you always want to make sure the pattern directly matches up like I think that might yeah, that's different Ah, yeah, so that's different unfortunately we can Google this though and see if this is anywhere on Google though. Um, right here, let's see, at yeah, 26, right here. Let's plug this in. Right here, 26 on clearance. Right here, so 26 into 44. So it's about a 14% ROI, so that's not quite good. Although if any of these are a little bit more expensive, we might be in business here. Wow, white, ooh, okay. Boom, yeah, here we go, 26 bucks into 55. Bro, and this is the other guy too. Wow, wow. So this is out of stock right here. But uh, this is the correct color. This is on Nike.com. It's 54 on Amazon. So that would be insanely profitable. What you want to do in this case is catalog this in a seller amp spreadsheet. So come down here and just zap this out to a spreadsheet called out of stock right here. And it just one click exports it from seller amp over to a spreadsheet right there. So we actually totally had some profit there, just out of stock, unfortunately. Um, right there, let's see, that is a gray one here too. Gray and blue vibes. Okay, no. Um, let's see, if any of these are 50 plus though, they have them on Kohl's at 26. Right here. Let's see, ooh, they got some other colors as well. Okay. Let's see, black 2XL? Yeah, here we go. Boom, so let's see, right there. Ah, that's a little different too though. See that pattern? Right there, and I don't know, some people might make the argument that it's close enough, but I personally think that makes sense right there. Okay. Let's see. All right, let's see. This looks great right here. 13 bucks for a nice product like this. This looks like a very, very promising item. Let's see. And we'll take a look at that uh, tank top too. So they probably have that as well. Let's see. So if anything's like 30 plus, because let's see. So we're paying 17. Take off 20%. Looks like the sales rank on this is a little bit high, um, but I'm confident in an item like this considering I can see it has 120 reviews right here. And then if we look on the Keepa chart right here, we can clearly see that this product sells right here. It just looks like the demand's going down a bit as the sales rank's going up a bit. Um, they're inversely cor uh, correlated uh, just because like weather's getting a little bit colder. Let's see. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so the blue ones are out of stock. That 50 would have been very good though. Let's see, that'd be obsidian. No, so it's just like black, white, gray. So white, medium, 24. Damn, so it's not quite good. Red. Damn, red's out of stock too. Damn, so there was a lot of stuff that was profitable here at like 13 or 14 into 30. Um, problem is we're just a little bit late and they're out of stock, which will happen from time to time. And that's why you just want to export stuff out with SellerAmp right here and then keep it cataloged. And then next time, you know, there's a Nike.com sale. You have a little note that says like, hey, this was profitable last Nike.com sale. Check this again right there. And then you can, you know, hop on it. Right, let's see, are these good? This is 110K rank right here. Boom, yeah, here's those tank tops right here. So let's see. Okay, so we got some more sizes in stock or more colors than the last one. So let's see, and the nice thing is you can start to see patterns the more you do. It's like blue extra large right here. So blue extra large out of stock. Obsidian white large right here. Please tell me this is in stock. Boom, game time. All right, here we go. Right here, right? So we got 34 bucks right here. So we got 19. 19 right here, take off uh, 20%, right? Because we got that uh, ultimate code right there, right? We go here, so 19. Take off 20% right there, boom. So $6 profit, uh, about a 19% profit margin. Remember, we're also getting 10% uh, rack tin, which we're not going to count in the margin, but it definitely doesn't hurt. Um, right there, and then it's after sales tax, product cost, 
everything like that. And we can see my friends that as of the past month, the price has been very stable on that at that 34 as well. There's only been one seller right there. So that is not a bad product whatsoever, my friends. And then we probably got some other variations that make sense too. But you guys can see like, yeah, that white medium is good too, right? Boom, right? You pay 15 bucks right there. The low, the, uh, there's eight sellers on it. The seller in the buy box is an FBM seller right here at 34. Boom, right? That's not bad at all. You make like, you know, five bucks a piece. It's a nice small product. You can fit a ton in the box to Amazon. And you'll have to see, and this is the basis of manual sourcing, guys, right? Just plug in stuff we think will sell quick. And uh, taking a look right here on a shoe like this, I'll probably plug in the uh, style code right there. Let's see. Aha, yeah, here we go. Now, I bet you they don't have an 11 on Amazon. And that's why 11 is the only one left. Oh, they do. 125. Okay, so we're at 78 right here so 78 right here take off 20 percent right there boom 31 dollars profit 50 percent roi right there it looks like they probably only got a couple of these left buy boxes fbm so we know as fba sellers we could dominate that and we can see prices super trending up in the right direction over the past like three four weeks right there really stable in that 125 range even some buy box share going as high as like 135 um right there as well which is absolutely awesome right there that's you know, we're talking about 40 bucks profit on a nice shoe like that after shipping, fees, everything like that. So you absolutely love to see it. There's a lot of cash with this stuff, guys. It's a lot of fun right here, right? And we're just hopping around, right? You have an email address that you sign up for accounts on all these big websites. They tell you when they have deals going on and then you hop in and execute when the time comes right there. Okay, let's see. Okay, habanero red. Okay, white coconut picante red, okay. So it's gonna be a little confusing on the colors. You always wanna be making sure it's the correct color by looking at the, um, the picture, the title, style code can help too um, as well. And that we can see there's like a bunch of different options here. So let's see, green, the green's on here. Ooh, okay, ah, so the greens, the coupon code doesn't work on this. So we're not gonna, not gonna worry about those right here. Let's see, you can pay 64 for these Nike free run 2018s. Right here, so let's see, this is boom right here. It looks like that's the same thing as well. Uh, we'll obviously need to verify that right here, but let's uh, let's find out. So we're paying 64 bucks right here, okay. So let's see, 44K rank, that ain't bad. Let's see, we got any all black ones right here? So no, not at all, okay, navy gray. Is there anything without a buy box here? Ooh, okay, so <laughs> all right, here we go. Well, yeah, so there's a couple of these that don't have buy boxes. That can be fine as long as you verify on the keep it chart that it's actually moving. Right here, we can see these are women's though, even though it says men's. So let's see. Ah, okay, so it is men's though, because that's what the customer sees here though. So this is men's right here, and we can see 158, buy cost is 64, super low competition to one seller. You have a ton of pricing power when you see this type of margin and only one seller. And then we can totally drop this to get it moving quick and go down to like 130, make 34 bucks. 125, you know, stuff like that, make 30 bucks, 47% ROI. So you guys can see how feasible it is when big websites have sales. And we can see, we only look through like one or two pages of stuff. There's tons of other stuff to go through. I have tons of videos on my channel. Gonna break down more of this at the free training on Wednesday, so make sure you do that. Bunch of other free tutorials at the link in the description as well in terms of like how to use Kiva, how to use Celeron, everything like that. Hope this video was helpful for you guys. Get after it, prime in the next couple of days. So many online arbitrage sales to get after it. And if you guys got any questions, let me know in the description.